Standing in now, Devin Travis. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and out of play. High in the air and deep to left center field. Looking up is Herrera. And this one is gone. A home run. So a two-run shot to left center as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Whatever these guys are putting in their pregame meal, you can be darn sure they're getting the same setup tomorrow. That's five home runs as a team now. I mean, these guys are feeling it up there. Stepping in now, Marcus Stroman. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. I'm pretty sure this is not what that man right there had in mind. He's watched this guy really struggle here in the first inning. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0-2 now. Boy, tough enough to be an American League pitcher swinging the bat as it is. How about having to deal with pitches like that? One word, Matty, unfair. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. And this is a spot where to me you don't need to play home run derby here. I mean if your last name is Pujols or Fielder maybe but for a guy like this you just try to get on base and give your guys a chance to drive you in. Coming to the plate again Troy Tulowitzki as he'll bat for the second time in the inning.
chop foul right at home plate at strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Another one sent foul. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Now the 0-2 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. On his way to second is Tulowitzki. And he's in at second base with a first inning double. Now batting. Wow. And with that... That means they've already hit for the cycle against him here in just the first inning. At this point, you're just hoping he can get you out of the first. He's struggling just to do that. Stepping in, Kevin Pillar. He flew out in his last at-bat. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. First pitch on its way. Drilled on the ground to short. Galvis is there, and it's in time at first. And finally, at long last, the side is retired. But not only do they take the lead, they also open it up a bit as seven men come across to score. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Blue Jays seven, and the Phillies coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. With that, a look at the Phillies batting order in this one. Steve, how do they send these fans home happy here today? Well, it certainly wasn't a good start. You're down by a ton after the first. So stay patient, chip away. You've got nine innings to go. Marcus Stroman, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, guys, he's got a career ERA of just under three and a half. He's thrown some great ball games in his career. He's thrown some real clunkers. Hopefully, for his sake, he throws well in this one. Well, now that we have a chance, let's give you a look at the defensive alignment for the Blue Jays. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric? Well, guys, this manager loves to do the defensive shifts, so we're going to see a lot of odd formations as the game goes along. I can't wait to see how it works. Odubel Herrera will stride forward to lead it off. And I'd imagine he'll do so with some tired legs after being out in the field for that last half inning. Yeah, that was a killer. He could probably use a minute or two on the bench, but he gets pressed right back into action here. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. It was kind of a delayed swing right there. He looked like he had to wait to see if it was going to be anywhere close. And now he's in a big hole. And he pops it up back behind second base. And he will fight the Cactus League sky as he puts this one away for round Having number second. one. I don't know, two pitch here, he knows he's got to protect, and that's sort of a defensive hack there, just trying to make contact, and the result, an easy pop-up. He 
Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. Stroman looks in. Here's the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson might call a few strikes below the knees from time to time, but he tends to get pretty high praise. He's consistent, and he gets the call right just about every time. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Well, nothing wrong with a pop-out and a strikeout when you're out on the mound. And he's saying, I'll take this all game long. Michael Franco gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. Yeah, nothing doing so far here. He kind of needs to put up a tough at bat right here just to make this guy work a little bit. And that's inside for a ball, 1 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. That evens it up, 1 and 1. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. And you know, I think it's going to be important that when guys get their pitches, they take advantage. There it looked like he was taken all the way, and he may not get another pitch that catches that much of the plate. Straight three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Josh Donaldson will stand in to lead off the second. And what will they do for an encore after the first inning they put together? Donaldson. They know, Matt, they might not have to do it.